Alright guys, what is going on? The Buster Barnes here, bringing you the latest episode of our FIFA 21 West Ham career mode. Last episode we picked up some decent wins over Crystal Palace and Sheffield United. As you can see, we are sitting nicely in the top four at the moment. Only one point ahead though of Manchester United. As Liverpool seem to have slipped down a bit, but they do have a game in hand over us, as do Arsenal and Spurs. Actually not too far away from Spurs, but... We seem to be the same distance away from them every, every single week, so I'm not sure if we can catch them. However, as you can see there, we did lose 5-4 in the FA Cup against Man City, then basically scoring with their last kick of the game in extra time. Haller, their former West Ham player, getting the player of the month, so fair play to him. But um, yeah, guys, it, <laughs> I'm still a bit deflated from that loss to Man City, just seeing as how long that went. We went all the way to extra time, and Jesus banged in quite the great goal at the end. But um, yeah, we've got to bounce back. And what better way to do that than away at Everton. Calvert-Lewin maybe can score against his former team. Show them or prove to them why they shouldn't have sold. I mean, he can prove that anyway. Having scored 36 goals in the league, which is absolutely mental. He's going to score more than a goal a game, which is absolutely mental. Still 10 games to go. But we'll also be in this episode, guys, getting into and playing both our Europa League games against Atalanta which should prove to be interesting if you guys do enjoy this series please leave a like and comment down below what you want to see and as always subscribe to the Buster Barnes YouTube channel for more FIFA 21 content I don't know a lot of these Everton players they've obviously got Dallo they've got Diallo at right back they've still got Alan but Felipe Anson that's who they bought from us they're playing him at centre mid which is interesting Plea up front who I think is a pretty good striker has scored against us a few times Chanaloglu Balassi, who I believe must be quite old now, so not the most dangerous looking Everton side, but still need to try and pick up a win. And um, I'm not too sure if we should be using that away kit, but I think I will go for it. One thing I am going to do actually is um, give a rest to Frimpong. Fredericks is injured, but we're going to need to get him match sharp at some point. And um, oh, apparently it won't um, let us do that, or will it? Wait, has it let me do that? No, it hasn't. Wait, if I go back, it should let me. Swap to him, but that's what I'm going to do. Try and swap Fim Pong to Fedrix, and then yeah, we'll see what happens in this game. And the Sar now pops that through to Loftus Sheet. Loftus Sheet, can he hit that through to Calvert Lewin? He actually can. Calvert Lewin, can he get through his shoots? And that Everton defender just did a bit enough. And so, oh, wait a minute, is that a penalty? Is that Boateng as well? I didn't see him starting. <laughs> Boateng is starting for Everton, guys. I did not see him on the team sheet. I would have um, mentioned that if I did, but he's taken out Calvert Lewin, it seems. And with that said, we apparently have a penalty. And um, I don't know if we're going to score this, but Calvert-Lewin is going to go top left, I do think. Um, I need to try and get this as accurate as possible. And he does get it. And I was a bit scared there because that little target was moving every now and again. We don't get penalties that often, guys. But thank God when we do, Calvert-Lewin puts it away, adding to his goal tally. Maybe should have given it to someone else, you know, give them a goal, but why not? Give it to the man that is already at the spot, Calvert-Lewin. Lossell does not move, and I wouldn't even say it was the best penalty, guys, but it was good enough to get the goal. And, um, yeah, have, I can't remember the last time he got a penalty in this career mode. He probably missed it whenever it was, because I'm not the best at them against the CPU. Ancelotti is fuming. His model is absolutely hilarious. But Calvert-Lewin, now 37 goals in the league. Absolutely insane. Hopefully we can keep on to this win and get the three points. Don't know what is going on at all. Trying to. They can try and keep it in. Over to Balassi. Balassi now crosses that in and Felipe Anderson, the former West Ham man, sticks the ball in the back of the net. And what's he going to do? He's going to run to his manager. Like, listen mate, I don't care. I'm like, oh yeah, one goal in the Premier League, Felipe. Is that it? Yeah? Is that it? After all this time in the league, you've only managed one goal. Well, guess what? We got Calvert-Lewin from this club, and he scored like 38 or 37 or whatever it is. So, listen, Felipe, I do not care how many goals it is you want to score. But off Calvert-Lewin now through to Rice. Rice is going to knock that through to Suchek. Suchek's going to knock that through to Erzy. Erzy's going to shoot, and Erzy, what are you absolutely doing? You need this to do better than that. I should have just shot of Suchek, but I thought Erzy was in the better position. Shot of his left foot, hit that wide. Absolutely disgraceful. To Masuaku, maybe Masuaku coming on isn't going to be the worst thing in the world if it goes to Erzi. And <laughs> Erzi is frustrating me now, guys. He should have had two goals. I know he's not known for his heading of the ball, but I tell you what, when you're on your own there in the box, you need to be putting that away. 
And um, yeah, I guess I would have much rather Calvert Lewin was the man on the end of that header. Would have been. It's going to be it. It is, guys. One all the way at Everton. Not what I wanted, not the worst result. It is always hard going to Goodison Park. How that's meant to look like Alan, I have no <laughs> clue. Um, but yeah, it was frustrating. Bringing Ozzy on obviously did not seem to be the right decision. As, um, yeah, look, only one shot on target. So it really shows how our finishing was, that cluster. But if anything now, we need to really um, improve our form getting into these Europa League games. First game against Atalanta, guys. It is the home fixture. So really, above anything else, we do need to try and keep the clean sheet as we don't want any away goals affecting us. They've got Piatek up front. Maybe not the most familiar names, I don't think. There's no Gomez, um, no Illich players like that. They've got Benucci at centre-back. Um, so should be an interesting game. Hopefully we can pick up the win. As you can see, our overalls and our players really growing quite well. Hopefully Session will be the latest to join the 80s club. But um, yeah, clean sheet, important over everything else. But really, hopefully we can pick up a win against this team. So we can... Sign our foo up to Loftus cheek. That was very, very nice play. And Calvert Lewin is foo, and we know that he can score the goals. And I did not react. Why didn't I just hit B? That was shocking for me. I don't know why I didn't react to that. My reaction time was not quick enough there. And uh, nice from Kavak there. Okay, I will bring that back. Actually, Bogan our foo to Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin foo to Loftus cheek. Loftus cheek's going to chip that over. And Loftus cheek's done some very nice. Transitional play actually up and over. Bogus going to chip that in to Calvert Lewin, and that is going to be 1 0. Lovely finish, lovely little cross, and Calvert Lewin gets the goal, which we should have got a bit earlier from um, his rebound, which fell to Suchek. But he has put the ball in the back of the net again from a really, really nice um, counter attacking goal. Off to cheek, crucial in some of these counter attacks so far, but Bogus crosses that in, full straight onto Calvert Lewin's arm. Goalkeeper. Maybe would have wanted to do better, but the ball was a dangerous one. And that's going to be 1-0 against Atalanta. And all I'm hoping is that we do not concede in this game. Is a little bit frustrating. Kabak makes a block, though. Pass it on the inside. And now Kabak is out of position. And now Piatek is through and... <sighs> couldn't do anything. Thought I made the block, I didn't. The game just sort of decides when it wants you to score. I've got this big itch on my face that will not go away. And, um, yeah, I don't know. They made the turn. The ball's through. Kamak had come out, so to be fair, they were man down. But look at this. I try and jockey with Diop, but apparently my defenders are not good enough to jockey. They just seem to be all robotic. And um, they do get a goal off Piatek, and now that is 1-1. We've conceded the way goal as well. Not great, but hopefully we can at least try and bounce back and win this game. So at least we're positive on aggregate. As is made the soot, they are going to ring or sound the whistle for half time disappointing we conceded was not really a fan of that goal at all we did get on the score sheet though and hopefully in the second half we can try and win this game but it was a decent effort and Cessignon has actually got the ball there he's knocked it in and uh, what was the point in that I don't know he's actually knocked that through to <laughs> not that through to Saar and what a pass that was by Loftus Cheek Saar's crossed that in a great finish by Boga off the post and in and I thought that was a nothing chance. I thought that Loftus-Cheek had hit it to one of the offside men. But actually, he's gone and knocked it through to M. Saar there. What a pass that is. Another great pass by Saar. And the finish off the post and in. That's one of my favourite goals I think I've scored, guys. I didn't even particularly mean to do it. Absolutely brilliant finish by Boga. And now we're 2-1 up. And I tell you what, from the unexpected, we are now potentially going to hopefully go into the end of this game winning on aggregate. Honestly, what is going on? We've got rid of it, but that was absolutely shocking from us. But I tell you what, the counter attack is on, and we're going to try and knock that up to So He's going to knock that over to Loftus Cheek, and Ruben's going to run now. Ruben's going to pop that to Calvert Lewin, and Calvert Lewin is going to hit it wide. And that is not what you expect from Calvert Lewin. Not going to lie, I thought it was offside the way he was running, but he apparently wasn't. Knocks that past. The keeper maybe just gets in the way, but I think that is a goal kick. And we needed to put that away, and that was very poor from a man who has not been very poor this season. Very, very... He passes that through 
to Finpong. Finpong going to pass that into Calvert Lewin. I missed the run there, but he's knocked it through to Loftus Cheek actually. Loftus Cheek's going to pop that through to Suchek. Suchek needs to score. He shoots and he does. And that is what we need from our highest rated player. A goal like that to make it 3 1, guys. And I was a bit worried, but I thought, need to shoot across goal. No other chance to score. And I think that was another assist from Loftus Cheek. He has had an absolutely amazing game, guys. He's probably been my favourite player in this match. And then just drives, runs there. Nice ball. Suchek does some really good work holding off the player. 3 1. Hopefully that means we've won the game. But we really need to not concede another goal now. That is going to be the main focus of this team. Over to Rice. Rice needs to show the man on his side. They've chipped it over the top. And they've actually kept that in. We need to win that header. And what? <laughs> what is that? Literally a ball from nothing into the air. And they've scored their second, guys. And it's completely undeserved. I'm actually a little bit fuming. Not going to lie. They did not deserve that goal and um, literally just drops down not even a good cross and um, they just win the header out of nothing terrible situation there Cecil needed to do better don't know why Kabak couldn't have cleared that to be honest I guess a decent header I don't even know goalie needs to be better positioned just a shocking one all around at least we're winning but two away goals to get conceded is really not ideal and we still have 10 minutes left so who knows what's going to happen go two minutes and I think so I've got a feeling they're going to score in this two minutes, guys, I'm not going to lie. Never mind, Rice is through, actually. And Rice can actually make a run. And he's knocked it through to Antonio. And I pray, Antonio, for everything that is West Ham. You score, and that's what he's done. And he's made it 4-2, and that could be crucial. The dying embers of the game. Antonio, a man who has not been used anywhere near as much as he was last season. Now Calvert-Lewin's come in. Still shows his love for the club. Still shows his loyalty. And still shows that he is here for the team and in what could be a crucial moment gets us two goals ahead of Atalanta nice and it pretty much all stemmed from Declan Rice making the tackle the pass Antonio one-on-one -on -one. he had to finish it high pressure situation and he did so and absolutely class from him I think he's doing well 12 goals in the Europa League oh my god qualifying was absolutely mental and um yeah Antonio there absolute wonder that fall from him and that is it, guys. Last kick of the game. Kind of like last episode when um, Jesus scored that last goal of the game against us. Although we would have won this game anyway, to be fair. But that is going to be the first leg against Atalanta, guys, at home. They've got two away goals, which is scary. But hopefully with the two-goal difference, we can hopefully still maintain the lead going into or after the second leg of this game. Right, final game of the episode against Atlanta, this time away from home. And their team has changed a little bit. They've got Chris Smalling, they've got Rabio, they've got Zapata. Um, so maybe a stronger team from them at the home fixture. We're going with the same team that beat them before. Hopefully we can win the game, but if not, hopefully we can just make sure if anything else we do go through to the next round. Hatsboa is going to cause me nightmares again, but um, hopefully we can do enough. To get through. Strange Benucci isn't playing, but I don't want to question their tactics, as in we do need this result. And we've picked up the ball there with Kabak. What is he doing? I don't know. Lunin's going to clear that away. If he can win that header, that's actually quite a good clearance. It is. And I tell you what, it's good. And I don't know if Sar's just offside. He's actually not. He's onside. Sar is through. Sar shoots and Sar scores. And guys, that is absolutely crucial to. Oh my god, 5-2 now on aggregate. And I tell you what, that could be what we need. I mean, if we score another away goal, that pretty much renders their away goals absolutely helpless. If I am, you know, getting the rules right, I don't know if they've changed the away goal rule. I'm pretty sure they haven't. But I tell you what, they were causing us issues. We counter-attack, we score. Saar gets his goal, his third goal in the competition. And that could be really important. And the Atalanta fans are probably wondering, why the hell did I buy a ticket for this match? I thought we were going to get the comeback but maybe not. They're three goals behind. Not impossible they score them, but we've made it that little bit harder for them. Gonna pop that through to Hatboa. Hatboa's got the ball. He's popped it through, and that is going to be offside. How do you feel, son? Probably not very good, and um, that is a bit of a let-off for us, not going to lie. That weird-looking linesman has saved the day. And I tell you what, that was a lot <laughs> closer than I thought it was. Oh my God, is that some VAR controversy, guys? I have absolutely no clue. But um, either way, I'm not going to complain. That is um, 
very, very interesting, although it is the video game, so it must be all right. I'll tell you what, Calvert-Lewin is through, though, now, and that was very, very strange. Didn't think that was right at all, but Calvert-Lewin's going to shoot, and Calvert-Lewin's just scored. And straight from that controversial call from the linesman, we have made it 2-0 away from home. And I tell you what, I have no clue why our away form it seems to be so much better than our home form, but not going to complain. You'd probably rather that, in a way, than your home form being that good. But Calvert-Lewin gets the ball with his shooting, shoots across goal, top left corner... And Atalanta, they did so well in the first game, caused us some real problems. But now Calvert-Lewin scored his 10th goal in the um, competition. And has he scored over 50 goals this season? I think he has. These are Lewandowski numbers by Calvert-Lewin. Absolutely insane. But um, I tell you what, 6-2 at aggregate. I think I can probably afford to rest some players at half-time. <laughs> Duvan now. Oh, God. And he's shot, but luckily that is not going anywhere. Atalanta going to whip that in. Can we get rid of the ball? We can't. And they have got a scrappy goal from a set piece. And, you know, we've got the two goals away. They'll need to win 4-2 to match us. You know, there's still a half of football to go. So I wouldn't put it past them. The goal was a little bit scrappy from a corner where we usually so good. Very interesting corner, that dipping goal. But, um, yeah, nice touch, actually, by, um, I believe that was um, Zapata, yes. And he gets the goal. And just, just a smidge keeps Atalanta in the game. But I don't know, and that is half-time. Going to make some half-time changes, as we do have a game against Burnley um, coming up very soon after this, which will obviously be the first game in the next episode. So we're going to give some players a rest. Um, I think Gilmore is going to come on for Suchek. Why not? Declan Rice actually looking quite tired. So I think I'm going to stick Ampadu on. And we're going to wait and see about the other position of um, who it is we are going to bring on in this game. I'm going to pass that in. And this is getting a little bit scrappy, guys. Honestly, we're getting pressed quite a bit. And I tell you what, this is not great at all. Over to Piatek. Piatek shoots and <laughs> he gets another goal. And I tell you what. If this game is going to try and aids its way to making this a tense one, then by all means do so. But um, I tell you what, look at that. What even is that? I mean, nice finish, I guess. But um, Piatek gets his goal. And now we're going to have to be a little bit more concentrated as we do not need Atalanta scoring another two goals in this game. Or it will, in fact, be very bad, especially because I've um, rested some players. Don't want to take the managerial error of being a little bit too cocky as Gilmore loses the ball. Um, don't really know how he lost it, but you know, it is the game, of course. Now they're going to chip it over his um, little Scottish head. And um, now they've got the ball again. Pass it through. Over to Lamer. Lamer's going to run through our team. Oh dear. Oh dear, guys. Oh dear. The, the game's out to get me. <laughs> the game is out to get me. And I've made the changes and they've scored another goal. And look, look at this. What is <laughs> what is Diop doing? What is the game doing to me? It wouldn't let me swap player. They've scored another. And uh, there's all the time in the world for them to level that. So that is actually a little bit scary, not going to lie, guys. And um, Lamers now. Oh, this is so annoying. This is so frustrating. Now what they're going to do, they're going to shoot. It's going to fall back to them. What am I doing? I don't know. Okay, pass by Gilmore over. Loftus cheap passes that through to Boga. Right, run, man, run. Run, old Jeremy Boga. Can you do it? He's going to cross it in. Over to Saar. Saar's going to get it. And he's going to hit it wide. I thought that was in from his mailer, Saar. And that could be crucial. Look at this. He touches it down. Hits it past the keeper. And that just skims the post. So... I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm nervous, that's it, they're going to whip it in, they're going to head the ball away, over to Sessegnon, and that, I believe, is it, we've got through, and what looked like it was going to be a comfortable win, almost turned into a historic Champions League moment, and us in our full West Ham kit, the manager must hate us, our Neon 99, and we somehow advance through, from going 6-2 up in aggregate to it ending 6-5, mental, but you know what? We advanced, morale is still high, almost a very scary moment, but we did it. You know, the game was out to get us, but we did, we beat EA. Us won, EA nil in this game, and I'll tell you what guys, before we end this episode, let's go and see who we have 
in the next round of the Europa League if it will in fact show us. Scary time guys, look at that, they completely destroyed us and dominated us. We took that way too likely and really got away with one. Alright, so our next opponent in the quarterfinals is going to be Villarreal. Getting a lot of um, maybe similar leveled teams, Villarreal, Atalanta, Lyon, so not going to be an uh, easy game by any means. Also surrounded by other games as well, so maybe won't be able to rest as much. We actually have them and then Man City away in the league. But next episode, I believe, we'll be facing Burnley, we'll be facing Newcastle and we'll be getting into, yes, our first Europa League fixture of the quarterfinals away at Villarreal. Well, hopefully we can pick up wins in all of them. Just going and looking at the Premier League table before we finish this episode. We are in fourth place. We do have a game in hand over Spurs, actually, who, um, or no, Spurs have a game in hand on us, I should say. They've actually been overtaken by City now, but can get back up there. And we do have a game in hand over Manchester United, so could make that gap from fourth place um, up to um, f f another four points. However, Liverpool have two games in hand, so... Um, Actually, they could overtake us if they win both of those, so that is a little bit scary. Very, very tense still in pretty much the race for first, but also um, the race for top four as well. So um, I do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Thank God we made it through to the Europa League by the skin of our teeth. Hope you guys have a nice day. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.